Martin Chemnitz, the 9th of November 1522 to the 8th of April 1586, was an eminent second-generation German evangelical Lutheran, Christian theologian, and a Protestant reformer, churchman, and confessor. In the evangelical Lutheran tradition, he is known as Alter Martinus, the Second Martin. See Martinus non fuse, Martinus vix stetise. If Martin Chemnitz had not come along, Luther would hardly have survived," goes a common saying concerning him. He is listed and remembered in the calendar of saints and commemorations in the liturgical church year as a pastor and confessor in the Lutheran Book of Worship 1978 and subsequent Evangelical Lutheran Worship 2005 used by the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Early life and education Chemnitz, born in Truenbritzen in Brandenburg to Paul and Euphemia Chemnitz, was the last of three children. His older siblings' names were Matthew and Ursula. His father was a successful merchant who died when Martin was eleven. Thereafter, the family suffered from financial difficulties. When he was old enough, Martin matriculated in Magdeburg. Upon completion of the course work, he became a weaver's apprentice. He helped his family with its clothing business for the next few years. When he was 20, he resumed his education at the University of Frankfurt Oder. He remained in school until his finances were exhausted. He then took a teaching job in the town of Reason, supplementing his income by collecting the local sales tax on fish. His time at Frankfurt gave him the basic tools to continue his education on his own, researching areas in which he was interested and applying his naturally inquisitive mind to problems that others had worried over in the past. In 1545 Chemnitz accompanied his cousin Georg Sabinus to school at the University of Wittenberg in Wittenberg, Germany 1545 where he studied under Martin Luther 1483 and Philip Melanchthon 1497 from Melanchthon he learned to shape his theological education, beginning with the difference between law and gospel in chemnitz's words though he heard luther lecture often he did not pay luther the attention he should have cf autobiography because of luther's death and political events chemnitz transferred to the university of konigsberg 1547 to 1548 Chemnitz graduated in the first class with a Master of Arts degree 1548. However, a plague soon infested the Baltic Sea Hanseatic German port town of Königsberg in East Prussia, today renamed Kaliningrad since occupied by the Soviet Union in 1945 at the end of World War II, now annexed into the Russian Federation so Chemnitz left quickly for Saalfeld. When he judged it safe, Chemnitz returned to Königsberg in 1550, now employed by Albert, Duke of Prussia, as the court librarian for the Königsberg State and University Library. In return for caring for the library and teaching a few courses as a tutor, he had unrestricted access to what was then considered one of the finest libraries in Europe and unfortunately later damaged and lost with its contents and elaborate building 400 years later during the battles swirling around the Prussian city on the eastern front of the Second World War in 1944–1945. For the first time Chemnitz applied himself completely to theological study. During these years his interest shifted from astrology, which he had studied in Magdeburg, to theology. He began his own course of study by carefully working through the Bible in the original languages of Hebrew and Ancient Greek with the goal of answering questions that had previously puzzled him. 
When he felt ready to move on, he turned his attention to the early theologians of the Church, whose writings he read slowly and carefully. Then he turned to current theological concerns, again reading slowly while painstakingly making copious notes. This early method of Lutheran scholastic self-study had been suggested by Melanchthon in his writings cf. Autobiography. His vocation as reformer, churchman, and theologian Chemnitz moved back to Wittenberg in 1553 as a guest of Melanchthon. In January 1554 he joined the Wittenberg University faculty. He lectured on Melanchthon's Loci Communes, from which lectures he compiled his own Loci Theologicae, a system of theology. He was ordained to the ministry on 26 November 1554 by Johannes Bugenhagen (1485–1558) and became co-adjutor of Joachim Morlin (1514–1571), who was ecclesiastical superintendent for the Duchy of Brunswick Wolfenbüttel. When Morlin resigned in 1567, Chemnitz became his successor, he held the post for the rest of his life. Through his leadership, Brunswick Wolfenbüttel was brought firmly into Evangelical Lutheranism. There he helped his prince, Duke Julius of Brunswick Wolfenbüttel, establish the University of Helmstead 1575–76. With Jakob Andrea, David Chytraeus, Nicholas Selnecker, Andrew Musculus and others, Chemnitz took part in a centrist movement that brought agreement among German Lutherans in the writing and publication of the Formula of Concord 1577, of which Chemnitz is one of the primary authors. He was instrumental in the publication of the definitive Book of Concord, Confessions of the Evangelical Lutheran Church presented in 1580, containing a series of important earlier confessional theological documents, treatises, commentaries, catechisms as the compilation of the doctrinal standard of the Evangelical Lutheran Church. Other major works are Examen Concilii Tridentini, Examination of the Council of Trent, and De Duibus Notoris in Christo, on the two natures in Christ. These works demonstrate Martin Chemnitz's abilities as a biblical, doctrinal, and historical theologian in the Orthodox Lutheran tradition. He died in Braunschweig. Topic. Works Topic <inaudible> Autobiography Martin Chemnity Einhandige Lebens Beschreibung Nepst denen IHM zu Braunschweig Gesetzen Epitaphies Martin Chemnitz's Submitted Life Description Autobiography Together with the epitaphs erected to him in Braunschweig, 1719. Translated into English as an autobiography of Martin Chemnitz. A. L. Grabner, Trans. Theological Quarterly, Vol. 3, No. 4 1899. <laughs> Church government and oversight Brevis et simplex forma examinus de precipui doctrinae calistis capitibus brief and simple form of examination concerning the principal chapters of celestial doctrine, 1571. Kirken Orning, we s mit lair und ceremonien des Fürstenthums Braunschweig Church Order, as to doctrine and ceremonies, of the Duchy of Braunschweig, 1569. Ministry, Word, and Sacraments, an Enchiridion. Luther Pullet, Trans. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1981, originally published in 1593 German and 1603 Latin as Enchiridion di Martini Chemnati. 
Ein schon VNND Richtige Form zu Beichten A Good and Proper Form for Confess Ing One Sins, 1603. Topic: Confessions of Faith and Documents Relating to the Formula of Concord. Acta Formulae Concordiae in Burgundy Coenobio Prope Magdeburgum, Records of the Formula of Concord in Bergen Abbey near Magdeburg, 1707, with Nicholas Selnecker, the deliberations of the writers of the Formula of Concord to finalize that document. Apologia, Oder Verantwortung die Christlichen Concordienbix, which appeared in Latin translation as Apologia Libri Christiani Concordiae, literally, Apology of the Christian Book of Concord, with Timothy Kirchner and Nikolaus Selnecker, 1583. Known as the Apology of the Formula of Concord. Chrysalisches Bedenken auf Docht. Majors repetitio und endlich erklärung belongend den Streit Christian Reflections on Dr. Major's work, repetitio, and finally an explanation as far as the controversy is concerned, 1568. Confessio Ministeri Saxony Confession und Erklärung Confession of the Ministers of Saxony, Confession and Explanation, 1571. Text in German. Corpus Doctrinae Prutinicum, the Prussian Body of Doctrine, 1568, an anthology of Lutheran statements of faith for the German domain of Prussia. Corpus Doctrinae Julium, the Duke Julius Body of Doctrine, 1576, an anthology of Lutheran statements of faith for Duke Julius's Duchy of Brunswick Wolfenbüttel. Formulae rect sentiendi de precipui horum temporum controversies forms of thinking correctly concerning the chief controversies of these times, 1576 found in the Corpus Doctrinae Wilhelminum and the Corpus Doctrinae Ulium. Judicium de controversies q vibusdam circa cuvasdam ac articulos. 1594. Also known as, De Controversies Quibistam, Quae Superiori Tempori Circa Quasdom Augustini Confessionis Articulos Mote Agitate Sunt, Udicium D. Martini Chemnati, Polycarp Laser, ed. Wittenberg, 1594 Judgment on Certain Controversies Concerning Certain Articles of the Augsburg Confession Which Have Recently Arisen and Caused Controversy. Solita AC Vera Confessionis Augustini History History of the Solid and True Augsburg Confession with Timothy Kirchner and Nicholas Selnecker, 1585. Wiederholt Christi Gemeine Confession der Sachsischen Kirchen Reiterated Christian General Confession of the Saxon Church Homiletical and devotional writings Andachtige Gebiet wider die Tufel in den Armen besessen Luten devout prayers against the devil in the poor possessed people, 1596. Eine andere Pred igt von Africhtung Christlicher Schulen another sermon on the erecting of Christian schools, 1573. Concilium Delectione Patrum Council On the Reading of the Church Fathers, 1616 Ect evangelisch Allegging de Sun und Festags Evangelien des Kirchenjahres Genuinely Evangelical Interpretation of the Sunday and Feast Day Gospels of the Church Year, 1872–1878 Zweiter Band Dritter Band Werder Band Funfeter Band Sexter Band Siebenter Band Harmoniae Evangelicae Harmony of the Gospels, 1593 Historia der Passion Christi History of the Passion of Christ, 1590 
Lake Pred, Hern Victor Besiken, Gewessen Burgemeisters in Bremen, Funeral Sermon for Lord Victor Besiken, former Mayor of Bremen, 1612. Lake Pred IGT, in Funier Christoph von Blankenberg, Anno 1573 Gethen, Funeral Sermon, at the burial of Christoph von Blankenberg, given in the year 1573, 1578. Oratio de lectione patrum, habita oration concerning the reading of the fathers, delivered 1554. Oratio habita in introduction universitatis Juliae an oration delivered at the introduction of the University of Duke Julius, 1576. Oratio Panegyrica, Das East, Trost und Ehren Pred IGT Bay de Wayland M. Chemnati. Like Bestadiging, Panegyrical Oration, that is, comforting and honoring sermon of M. Chemnitz at the formerly. Burial, 1627. Postilla, Oder Oslegung der Euangelien Welsche auf die Sontage, Och die Fernemste Fest und Apostel Tage in der Gemeine Gotas Abgelassen und Erklarat Worden Postels, or Interpretation of the Gospels, which on the Sundays, also the foremost feast and Apostle days, in the Congregation of God are read and explained, 1593. Postil, Oder erklaring der Ordenlichen Sun und Fest Tags Evangelion, Postel, or Explanation of the Proper Sun and Feast Days Gospels, 1594. Pred IGT am Sonntag Septuagesima, Sermon for Septuagesima Sunday, 1866. Eine Pred IGT bei der Einführung der Julius Universität zu Helmstead, a sermon at the introduction of the Duke Julius University at Helmstead, German text of Oratio Habita in Introduction Universitatis Juliae, 1576. Eine Pred IGT über das Evangelion Matthew Chapter 22, a sermon on Matthew Chapter 22, 1573. Ein Pred IGT Uber John chapter 3 verses 1 to 15 Uber Luke chapter 18 verses 9 to 14 a sermon on John chapter 3 verses 1 to 15 on Luke chapter 18 verses 9 to 14 1856 to 1886 topic Letters Epistola de Coina Domini in Tertium Apologium Bizet Letter Concerning the Lord's Supper in the Third Apology of Beza. Epistolae Martini Chemniti ad Matthiam Ritterum Letters of Martin Chemnitz to Matthias Ritter. Preface to a work by Heinrich Buting Prefacio Doctoris M. Chemidich to Heinrich Buting's Itineranium et Chronicon Ecclesiasticum Totius Sacrae Scripturae Preface of Dr. M. Artin Chemnitz to Heinrich Buting's Itinerary and Ecclesiastical Chronicle of All the Holy Scriptures, 1581 Reports and Task Force Studies Bedenken, and justum sit, fewers punir suspendi reflection, whether it be just, to punish thieves by hanging. Bedenken der Theologen zu Braunschweig, von dem neuen Wittenbergischen Kachismo Gestiae, der ganzen Christenheit zur Warnung Ostgengen reflection of the Theologians of Braunschweig on the new placed Wittenberg Catechism to all Christendom sent out as a warning, 1571. This document helped Elector August of Saxony uncover a plot to undermine the Lutheran faith of his duchy on the part of crypto-Calvinist ministers and teachers. Bedenken, ob die Worte der Einsetzung notwendig müssen residierat worden? 
reflection, whether the words of institution of the Lord's Supper must necessarily be recited. Bedenken von Bereth und Enterlaubung der Predigter reflection on the call and authorization of preachers. Bericht vom neuen Baptischen Gregoriano Calendario, and den Landgrafen zu Hessen report on the new papal Gregorian calendar, to the Landgrave of Hesse, 1584, Chemnitz had been trained as an astrologer, and he was consulted on the advisability of adopting the new 1582 Gregorian calendar in place of the old Julian calendar. Bericht von Gelegenheit und Unterschied der Herzogstümer Schleswig und Holstein report on the location and division of the duchies of Schleswig and Holstein, 1629. Concilium de Vitandis Calvinianis Council on Avoiding Calvinists, 1623. De celibatu judicium Judgment Concerning Celibacy, 1623. Judicium de Calendario Gregoriano, Judgment Concerning the Gregorian Calendar. Judicium von der Notwehr, Judgment Concerning Self-Defense, 1623. Monita Chemitiana Oder Heilsame Erinnerungen Emils von D. Martino Chemnitio bei Selener Einführung der Julius Universitat Chemnitian Chemnitz admonitions or salutary reminders formerly by Dr. Martin Chemnitz at the solemn introduction of the Duke Julius University, 1716. Topic Scholastic Disputation Disputatio Theologica de Beneficis Fili Dei, Domini, and Redemptoris Nostri Jesu Christi, Pro Summis in Theologia Honoribus Consequentes Habita Theological Disputation Concerning the Blessings of the Son of God, Our Lord and Redeemer Jesus Christ, Held for the Highest Suitable Honours in Theology, 1568 A Theological Disputation Qualifying Someone for a doctorate in theology. Topic: <theological>, Theological treatises. Anatome Propositionum Alberti Hardenbergi de Coina Domini, Anatomy, Dissection of the Propositions of Albert Hardenberg on the Lord's Supper, 1561. Bekantnitz von der Ubiquitat Confession on Ubiquity, 1623. A document that presents Chemnitz's position on the doctrine of the omnipresence of Christ's human nature. De incarnationi fili dei item de officio et maestate Christi tractus treatise on the incarnation of the Son of God, also on the office and majesty of Christ, 1865. De origin Jesuitarum, et quo concilio secta illa recens instituta sit on the origin of the Jesuits, and counsel concerning which that sect is recently instituted, 1611. Examination of the Council of Trent. Fred Kramer, trans. 4 vols. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1971–86 originally published in 1565–73 as Examen Concilii Tridentini Loci Theologicae. J. A. O. Prius, Trans. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1989, Justification, the chief article of Christian doctrine is expounded in Loci Theologicae. J. A. O. Prius, Trans. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1985 originally published in 1591 as Loci Theologicae. Chapter on almsgiving from Loci Theologicae, translated into English in .pdf format The Lord's Prayer. Georg Williams, Trans. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1999 originally published in English translation as ASVB Stanchel and Godly Exposition of the Prayer commonly called the Lord's Prayer. Cambridge, 1598, the original Latin text, never published, has been lost. The Lord's Supper. J. A. O. Prius, Trans. 
St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1979, originally published in 1561 as Repetitio Sine Doctrine de Vera Presentia Corporis et Sangvinis Domini in Coina. Martini Chemnitani von der Jesuiten Ankunft und Erspring Martin Chemnitz on the Arrival and Origin of the Jesuits, 1586. Obein Prediger am Alter sich selb communicaren Moge whether a preacher at the altar might commune himself, 1623. Richtig und in H. Schrift Wolgegrunter Klaring, Entlicher Hochwichtiger und Notiger Artikel unser Christlichen Religion, in Sonderliche Traktat und Predigten Gefasset an explanation, correct and well grounded in Holy Scripture, of quite a few highly important and necessary articles of our Christian religion contained in special treatises and sermons, 1592. Theologia Jesuitarum Brevis AC Nervosa Descriptio et Delineatio, ex Precipui Capitibus Century Ipsorum, Quae Anno MDLX. Coloniae Adita Est A Brief and Bold Description and Delineation of the Theology of the Jesuits, from the Principal Chapters of Their Own Opinions, the Year of Which is 1560, 1560. Theses caedum de union duarum naturarum in Christo hypostatica, item de officis et maestate Christi mediatoris some theses concerning the hypostatic union of the two natures in Christ, that is, concerning the offices and majesty of Christ the Mediator, 1558. Tract, de imagine dei in homin treatise on the image of God in man, 1570. The Two Natures of Christ. J. A. O. Prius, Trans. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1971, originally published in 1561 as De Duibus Notoris in Christo, De Hypostatica Irum Union, De Communication Idiomaticum. Veritas Religionis Lutheranae Defensa, Defense of the Truth of the Lutheran Religion, text in German. Von der Eugen Nadenwall on the Eternal Election of Grace, 1892. Topic: <inaudible> Biographies and Research on Chemnitz. Antiquitates Ecclesiaticae Inclitae Urbis Brownsvigae, Oder, der berühmten Stadt Braunschweig Kirchenhistorie, by Filippo Julio Rettmeyer. Braunschweig, Gedricht Verlacht von Christoph Friedrich Zillagers, 1710. The Doctrine of Man in Classical Lutheran Theology edited by Hermann A. Prius and Edmund Schmitz. Minneapolis, Augsburg Publishing House, 1962. Formulators of the Formula of Concord, by Theodore R. Jungkunz. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1977. Grunlinian der Theologie de Martin Chemnitz by G. Noth, 1930. Loci Theologicae, de Coina Domini, de Duibus Notoris in Christo, Theologia Jesuitarum. Chelsea, Michigan, Sheridan Books, 2000. Facsimile reprint of a 1653 anthology of these four treatises of Chemnitz in Latin by the Lutheran Heritage Foundation. Martin Chemnitz Nach seinem Leben und Werken by H. Hochfeld, 1867. Martin Chemnitz Views on Trent, the Genesis and the Genius of the Examen Concilii Tridentini. By Arthur C. Peepcorn, Concordia Theological Monthly 37, 37 January 1966, 5–37. Die Polemik de Martin Chemnitz gegen das Konsul von Trent by R. Mumm, Leipzig, 1905. The Second Martin, The Life and Theology of Martin Chemnitz, by J. A. O. Prius. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1994. The Works of Martin Chemnitz, by D. Georg Williams. Concordia Theological Quarterly. 
Vol. 42, 1978. Der Zweet Martin der Lutherischen Kirch, Festschrift Zoom 400. Todestag von Martin Chemnitz, the second Martin of the Lutheran Church, Jubilee writing for the 400th anniversary of the day of the death of Martin Chemnitz, edited by W. A. Junk, Braunschweig, 1986. Studium Exciter, biography of Martin Chemnitz by Joshua M. Zarling. Topic footnotes. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Wood, James, ed. 1907. Chemnitz, Martin. The Nuttall Encyclopedia. London and New York, Frederick Warren. Topic: External links. Martin Chemnitz website. Chemnitz, Chemnitz, Martin. Schaff Herzog Encyclopedia of Religious Knowledge, Volume Three. Article on Martin Chemnitz from the Christian Cyclopedia. Martin Chemnitz on the Doctrine of Justification by J. A. O. Prius II Chemnitz and Authority by Eugene F. A. Klug Works by or about Martin Chemnitz at Internet Archive Works by Martin Chemnitz at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks <laughs>